Today I'm going to show you how I paint red armour. Starting off with our paints we have Mephiston Red, Evil Sun Scarlet, Power Game Colour Black, and some Wild Rider Red. Palette set up so far with all of the different colours we're going to be using. So we're going to start off with black mixed with Mephiston Red in a 50-50 mix, getting a nice sort of black-red tone to put in all of the shadows around the armour of our miniature. As we're painting in the shadows, we want to try and make sure that we concentrate right towards some of the deepest recesses. Don't want to go over too much of the midtone we've already established with our Mephiston Red. Now we're going to come in with some pure black from Vallejo and we really just want to put it right towards the very deepest recesses to try and build up some really nice contrast all over the armour. After that step it should be looking something like this. Then we're moving on to having our Mephiston Red purely on its own and we're going to start putting in the mid-tone again. Trying to pull the brush into the highlight. So our brush strokes are ending where the highlight is going to be brightest. That'll deposit the most pigment in the areas that we want to have the most strength in colour. This step is really important because otherwise if I'm ending my brush strokes in the shadow I'm going to take all of my shadows away and it's going to ruin that transition that I'm trying to build. Alright next up we have a 50-50 mix of Mephiston Red and Evil Sun Scarlet from Games Workshop and I'm going to paint this in a similar way that I did the Mephiston Red except this time in a much smaller area gradually building up some of those layers towards the highest points of the model where most of the light would be hitting still trying to make sure that my brush strokes are ending in the brightest parts not into the shadows and ruining my transitions now we're coming in with some Evil Sun Scarlet and we're painting in a very similar way that we did the last highlight. Focusing on an even smaller area this time and we're really trying to make sure that our brush strokes are ending at the very ends or the very highest points of all of those armour panels. Now I haven't concentrated too much on some areas because they've been hit by more light. Now we're coming in with a final highlight of Wild Rider Red just on the very edges of each of the armour plates. I didn't go over all of the edges of the armour plates only because it was going to take way too long to hit absolutely every single edge. I just picked out the edges that I thought were the most important. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to is paint a bit of a highlight around the armour trim making it really stand out but I chose not to do this around all of the pieces again to save a bit of time and to save myself a bit of a headache. Now that I'm all finished it should be looking something like this. We've got some nice transitions from our shadows to our highlights and it's looking pretty good. I could spend a really long time fussing about all of the transitions making sure they're really smooth but if you just wanted to give this a go I think this would be a great introduction into some more volumetric highlighting and some more technical painting. Anyway guys I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.